Hey guys and welcome to another First Impressions video. Today we're going to be looking at Iron Conflict which is in early access right now. It is a top-down RTS type game that takes a few bits and pieces from other RTS and other wartime games out there right now. So first things first, this is in early access. Um, it is purchasable on Steam for around £10, which I wouldn't have an issue with if it wasn't for the in-game currency, but we'll get into that before we get into the gameplay a little later on. It's pretty okay, like as RTSs go, it's a bit finicky, but on the whole, it looks amazing, it runs really smooth, it plays really well, but I do have a few issues. So. We'll look at the options first of all, and then we'll go into what my concerns are and what they probably shouldn't have put in the game already. And uh, then we'll jump in and see what the game actually plays like. So let's do that right now. Okay, these are the options. So they still don't have a windowed boardless, which really should be a thing in today's standard, in today's day and age. I wish more games would add it, but hey, there you go. Also, they should really have a colorblind mode in this as well, but they don't. Um, the reason why I say that is because being colorblind myself, the lines use yellow and green to show clear line of sight and obstructed line of sight. As the type of colorblind I am, that makes it incredibly hard to play. I just don't kind of have to guess and use common sense and not the, the line of sight. But aside from that, the options are actually really well done. There is a huge amount of different things that you can change like i say it does run really well one thing i would say is i don't get why the frame rate's down here instead of being up here right that, that's what you'd expect um i actually didn't to start with i didn't actually think it came with a frame rate crowd or i, I thought it just came with the, the v-sync but there you go aside from that sounds pretty pretty standard there's not a huge amount to say about that key bindings you can rebind everything which is nice and then you got your language settings. That's really it for the options. Um, like I say, a few things that I've mentioned could do with changing and or adding. It is in early access. It might come out when the game comes on full release. Let's jump into some other in-game options that I'm not overly happy with, with the way that they've started this. Alrighty then. So the game's in early access. And fully enough, they've got a, a fully fledged pay to win store going on right now bearing in mind this is going to be a multiplayer online game as well you've got to pay for the game to start with like you've got to pay for early access i don't know whether they're going to make it free to play once it's fully released if they do this will be fine if it is still going to cost you then i'm not okay with it i i don't like it when games are this heavy with microtransactions especially when a lot of the things that you could buy aren't even in the game yet like at least flesh out this and this and this before you start asking for money right i get it's in early access but i'm not okay with this right i'm, I'm not okay this is a very similar store to things like war gaming and and war thunder and stuff which is fine but they're free to play games right that's why it works because it's free to play you do get some stuff with the founder pack obviously i got the key for it so i got the founder pack with it so i got 90 day premium i got i got some gold i got some silver and i got some experience fine but uh, yeah I, I would have preferred to see that they got this fleshed out and this fleshed out and this fleshed out and then said coming soon you can buy these things right at least i get it added first but that's just a personal thing. I mean, you might be okay with that. Like, you might might see it that they need to have these things in the game in order to, you know, make the money to continue making the game. I personally don't like it. I don't like the fact that the game's not finished yet and they're already asking for extra money in microtransactions. That's just a me thing. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me or not. Like, I would love to have that conversation with you. Do you think microtransaction like this should be in early access games or do you think it should be a coming soon and then fully done and added when the game is fully released interesting thought let's have a look at what the game actually plays like shall we okay here we are so you've got your units you have to choose three unit types to start it works very similar to all other rts in that you can 
drag and select and move and tell people what to do what i will say is that the commands are a little bit finicky and that sometimes you have to actually tell them to fire by pressing f key um and apparently they're all just going to go off in their own little way interesting um i don't know what's happening here oh there i am i'm, I'm there i see so these are all different people i see now okay cool so you have to select your units and then you can move them where you want with the right mouse button i've got it on free fire right now this is probably going to be the easiest way like i say if you don't have this on you've got to manually target and do a load of other stuff you can go into cover depending on what unit you've got you can um you know you can select one unit to go one place and you can flank from the other so that's where the tactic comes in um and then you're in team and you've got to kill the enemy this is the first time i've seen something like this where it's rts multiplayer team based i was actually not expecting this at all um the tutorial was pretty good it was pretty in depth but it, it just made it look like a standard rts not this this is very strange it seems to be working though um, the good thing is that the, there's not a lot of wait time with the matches, so th this game has clearly got a lot of traction already, which is nice. The the thriving multiplayer market is what's going to keep games like this alive. If games like these don't get the multiplayer market straight away, then they're dead on arrival. So I'm actually happy to see that the, the wait times for a match aren't actually that long. So the terrain, as you can see, kind of... It, it, most rts's do this as you go and explore the terrain the terrain becomes available and you can see the units that are around and stuff what i will say is that unlike a lot of other rts when you leave that area the area then becomes dark again unless there are other units there as well which is kind of it's kind of unique and i kind of like it um you can also choose your plane and tell that to come over here well um different tanks have different abilities they've got different armor lengths weapons that you can use and stuff your inventory if you take your inventory um can conceal themselves and go very sneaky like and they've got um anti-tank mines and stuff so there is a lot of a lot of tactics involved in this um it's actually really well thought out like it's really solid as a game and i do like the the mixture of multiplayer with an rts type type format like normally it's one player versus one player which is what i was expecting this to be not a group of like 12 commanding all different types of units i don't know how many people you could have in a squad i don't know what the private matchmaking's like but if you could have all like 10 units just a squad of 10 of you going in in like a private lobby i could see this being really fun um I'd be awful at it because you're only allowed like three units per person, but it would be pretty fun. Like I could see that. I could see that being a thing. I would be all over that. I am nowhere near the battle right now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going around. Um, the damage seems pretty cool. Like the missile, um, the missile animations are really kind of awesome. Like you see, especially the golden missiles. You actually see them them chase the plane and go around one thing i will say with the planes is especially if you are um trying to use a bomber it can be really finicky like the, the plane as you see when it gets to the point will just spin around in circles but earlier i was trying to in the tutorial get it to go to a specific spot and it wouldn't go there like i was clicking on it it would accept but then it just wouldn't go there i'd have to the way that i got it to do the bombs was to click past it right i had to click past where i was going for it in order for it to change direction and actually go where i wanted it to do so i could knock the bombs down which was a bit yeah they could probably work on that and make that a bit better but the models are really nice they're, they're really well thought out they look absolutely amazing um which is kind of cool and it does play solid like i've had no frame drops i've had no like lag spikes um the fact that this is online multiplayer and we've got like 20 people in is kind of cool we are being slaughtered by look of this which is probably my fault considering i'm nowhere near where i should be i'm being shot at i think i died did i die or did i kill them did i kill them i might have killed them Show me uh where are we oh yeah no i'm being shot at 
I am I am one hundred percent being shot at. Which means I did kill someone. Look at me go. Look at me go. Uh yeah, so I am I'm being targeted right now, which is not ideal. As you can see, the animations look really good, especially when you're being attacked. All the team, they've all got air uh, units, they're all going against poor little old me. I'm I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Uh so yeah. This is Iron Conflict. I really like it. I think that it could probably do with a few minor improvements. Uh, my tank's got stuck. My tank's stuck. What's ineffective? Good. There's there's lots of flashing. There's lots of lots of things going on. My tank's stuck. I'm dead. But this is this is Iron Conflict. I really like it. Um, I think it's got a lot of potential for an early access game. I think that. Obviously, as I said, they should do something about the microtransactions that are in the game already. But yeah, there's there's a decent tech tree for each of your troops as well. So you can get stronger and better troops as you go along. You've got different types of formations, which are kind of cool. It's really in depth. I'm a big fan. I think it's got a lot of potential. I think the controls could probably be looked at. They're a little bit on the finicky side, but outside of that, I'm pretty happy with it already. For an early access game, it's pretty well developed. There you are, guys. That's Iron Conflict. If you like this video, if you like the information that I have imparted upon yourselves today, feel free to hit that like button. The thumbs up really does help the algorithm and helps to get me more traction, which means that I can keep bringing you guys more videos. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. We are almost at 510 for the month, which was my goal. And we're only seven days in, which is incredible. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you very much for watching this video, if you got all the way to the end. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Ciao, ciao.